Today we're going to be looking at the command line and we're going to be looking at OCR applications. OCR, I believe, stands for Optical Character Recognition. Basically, this allows you to take images uh, that have text in them and convert them to actual text uh, that you can highlight, copy, and search through. Well, it's not a perfect, you know, um, solution because there's so many different fonts out there and text can be uh, so artistic in some ways with the different fonts. But if you have a, a, a very simple text, uh, you can get a halfway decent output uh, with some of these programs. We're going to look at three of them today, uh, look at ways of um, getting better results out of them, and then uh, pick one uh, that I think is best, and from what I've read, people seem to like the best. All three are open source, uh, and all three are in the repositories for probably all Debian uh, based distros. Right now I'm working in Linux Mint, uh, an older version. I can't remember if I'm on 10 or 11 right now, so I'm a little bit behind in updating my desktop. Um, but uh, I've already got them installed. Just use your package manager to, manager to install them if you have not already installed them. First one we'll look at is GOCR, uh, and I believe there is also a graphical interface for this one. Let's have a quick look at the man file for this. Just glance through it real quick. This one right here says that um, files should be in a PNM format, uh, but it also says, depending on your system, right, well, actually, it, it works with PNM, PGM, PBM, PPF, or PPM, and PCX. Um, these are formats I'm not too familiar with, but luckily, with um, Image Magic, which is installed on most Linux distros by default, and if not, it's definitely in the repositories for almost all. Um, you can convert to those formats, uh, but it also says this uh, program, if you have the right uh, dependencies installed, you can also work with uh, more common formats such as GIF, JPEG, TIFF, and bitmap, PNG, so forth, so on. Um, and just looking at this quick little synopsis here, um, we got the name of the program, any options you want, dash I for input, and then the input file. So let's go ahead and give that a try real quick. First off, I'm going to show you the image I have. It's a not very high resolution, actually rather low. A little advertisement I got off Facebook for uh, free Sundays over at um, Chick-fil-A, which are delicious. So we're going to see what we can get out of this image here. It's called JPEG1 in this case. Let's go uh, G-O-C-R, and we'll say dash I for input and the image. And there we go, we've got not too good of results. Okay, not great. Completely unreadable. But uh, in a minute, we'll uh, look at things after we look at the other two at uh, increasing our output um, accuracy. Next one we'll look at is OCRAD. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. OCRAD, maybe? Or maybe you just read out the letters. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the man file for that. Um, so basically, we got name of program, any options, and the file name. Um, looking through here, it says it only reads PNM files. So let's go ahead and use convert, which is part of the image magic package. So if you don't already have it installed, just install image magic, but you probably already have it installed. We'll say the original file, and then we'll say the output file will be one dot uh, PNM, I think we said it was. And M, I think. And uh, if we display that out, you'll see that the image pretty much looks the same. It's just now in a format that this program can read. So we'll just do that, and we'll say one dot PNM, hit enter, and we still get rather poor results. Next one is called Tesseract, uh, and it's. Tesseract-OCR, I think, in the repositories. Once you install it, it's just Tesseract. Let's look at the man file for that. This one um, says it works with TIFF files, which is more common format, um, but probably not as common as PNG or JPEG, so we're still probably going to be converting most of the time. And as it says here, and also we'll look at this little page on uh, Google Codes uh, here, is that it was a proprietary program back in the mid-90s, and uh, rated as uh, in the top three engines back in 95 for 
doing this, converting images to text. Since then, uh, it, it kind of its development kind of slowed down, went open source, and kind of became live again. That happens quite often. Look at Blender. Blender was a proprietary program that was dead. I forget what it was originally called. I believe it was owned by Neo Geo. Went open source, and now it's growing like crazy. So let's see what results we can get from this. So first, also um, on this page here, I just want to mention um, somewhere, somewhere. Uh, let's go for Matt. Right here it says, it can read a wide variety of image formats and convert them to text. Um, the version I have, I believe, only reads TIFF. That's what the man file says, and I think I've tried other ones and it didn't work. But once again, not a problem. We'll just convert our original JPEG image to a TIFF format. Once again, we could display that out. You'll see that it looks pretty much the same as it did before. But we'll use Tesseract. And uh, I think it's, well, I'll look at the man file if I get this wrong, but I think it's the input file. And uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to put this to standard output, but I'll just put output as an output and hit enter here. And now let's cat out and put it into this file. And we got, hmm, okay. We got some readable words here. Free, boom, Sunday, when you say 61, semi, some phrase. So we got a little bit better results with this already, but still not really usable. So what can we do about this? Well, I found that if you simply, which this doesn't make too much sense to me, you increase the resolution of the image, um, you get better results, even though you're working, you're just taking a lower quality and increasing the resolution. Uh, I don't see why that makes a difference, but it seems to. And of course, we can use convert for this too. So let's go convert, and we'll give it the original file of uh, j one dot jpeg, and we'll say resize. That's dash resize, and we'll just give it one thousand to start off. So we're just making uh, increasing its size, which. I'm not 100% sure what the size is, but it's not 100, it's probably like two or 300 as far as the width and height. Um, and, uh, and giving it just one number will increase the size without um, distorting the uh, act aspect ratio of it. And we'll just give it an output of 1.tiff. We'll automatically overwrite the last one, which means we can run the same pr uh, output again. So Tesseract 1.tiff output and then we can cat out our output file and you can see hey we're getting some better results so here it was at the original resolution somewhat getting some words there and here it is at the higher resolution free brownie sunday when you say the still getting a little something oh secret phrase i think that's a new line there you do get some excess characters here and these are from non-text things in the image um, secret phase uh, phrase and then also here we almost have top all Sundays they put in a zero there instead of an O and then we kind of lose it here a little bit so let's let's try it again let's um increase the resolution to 5000 took a little bit longer to convert there we'll now run the output again and we will cat it out Oh, good. We're getting it. Get top. Oh, we got top correct here. Top all Sundays. Start from the brownie up. One person from 3 to 7 p.m. So let's uh, display our original image again. And lo and behold, besides the extra little things in here that are, because it's trying to read things that aren't text in here, uh, we got pretty decent results there. You can now script through this and remove anything that aren't actual words. Um, uh, you can also crop the excess stuff out of the image, but depending on what you're doing, that may uh, defy the whole purpose of this, point of this. So now that we've uh, increased the resolution, let's try that with the other applications and see if we get as good of results as Tesseract. So what I'll do here is I'll say convert uh, 1.jpg um, dash resize 5,000 and I'll make a 2.jpg and then let's go to um, GOCR okay run same command as forward uh, or sorry I said J GOCR 
and dash i, and we'll give it the new JPEG image. Yeah, see, still not as great of results. Okay, so let's do this again. We'll convert the original, and this time we'll put it to two dot uh, pnm, and we will o c r control o c r a d. And this time we'll give it the new higher resolution. See how that outputs. Slightly better results than we originally with that program. But as you can see so far, Tesseract uh, seems to be the best as far as accuracy by far. So I recommend uh, checking this out. Uh, it is open source. Um, I want to say it's under the Apache license, not a GPL. Oh, no. No, wait. Yeah, no, that's a different program it's mentioning there. Uh, yes, it's under the Apache 2 license. So it's open source, not GPL, but still, good thing. Check it out. And as I uh, showed you, increasing the resolution using convert, uh, which you'll probably be converting if it only takes TIFFs, which it seems to, um, gives you great results. So uh, if you have any other open source OCR programs, because uh, I think there's a few other, but those are the top three I came across, uh, go ahead and... Uh, post your response in the comments. Also, uh, you know, if you have any other ideas of using uh, image magic or something from the command line that you can automate this and get better results, that'd be great. But uh, right now, uh, I think that uh, the way I'm doing it, I'm getting all the words just with some excess as far as the rest of the image. So uh, definitely could take a whole library full of images and do a word search through them. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial useful if you were looking for something like this. I recommend you uh, give all three programs a look at, but for me, Tesseract, uh, and from what I've read, is usually the best out of the three. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit my uh, website. It's filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. should be a link in the description there. You can find uh, videos, uh, scripts, and programs, and music by me. Um, also, some funny images there under photos. Um, also, if you have any comments, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, uh, don't put them in the comments below because, uh, or at least I won't be answering them. Maybe someone else will answer you. Go to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC, or if you just go to filmsbychris.com on our main page, there's a help button that will take you to the IRC channel. There's a great place to ask me and other people questions. Don't come in there, ask a question, and expect an answer right away. Sometimes it takes a little bit for one of us to answer. So don't come in and exit. Come in, stay around a while, ask some questions. Um, and uh, also, if you like my videos, uh, if you enjoy them and you like my site and everything I have up on there, uh, help support the site. There is a donate button on my website. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.